well, certainly the key challenge for Auckland is um, a high sense of sustainability, the importance of us uh, maintaining a, a very, very strong balance between uh, environmental, cultural, social uh, and um, economic uh, factors. And so to ensure that we have uh, a city that is highly livable and sustainable, uh, the most important thing in Auckland for us to achieve that is transportation. We have a very, very high focus on taking our city, which has been primarily embedded in roading, uh, into a fully integrated transport system where we have investment in rail, bus, ferry, uh, of course in walking and cycling. So the need for us to invest strongly in that, uh, ensure that our people get choice, to decongest our roads, uh, to ensure that within that choice our people are moving to and from work, um, is a critical element of their sense of loving to live in their city, uh, finding it easy to get around, uh, having a public transport system that is electrified using um, you know, energy sources that are not fossil fuels, better for the environment, uh, and therefore makes the city um, more exciting and enjoyable to be in, to work in, to visit. So um, for us in our city, the biggest challenge is uh, for sustainability are around a great transportation system. Well, Auckland was a city uh, for 170 years of many councils and boards. And um, in recent years, we became a city of seven uh, city or district councils and one regional council. And what happened in amongst that was that it was accentuating the different places that we were living in rather than really pulling together and uniting us with a common vision and plan for the whole of Auckland. And so as we have grown at quite considerable pace, Auckland grows at about one and a half to two percent population per annum, so we're the fastest growing city in Australasia. Uh, we were finding that Aucklanders, rather than uniting, were pulling in their own directions. I'm from the south of Auckland. Others are living in the west and the north shore and in some of the rural parts or in the centre. So they were focusing only on their part of town. And so we weren't achieving our potential. Our city has a, over a third of New Zealand's population and 40% of the nation's GDP and economic um, activity. So we needed the, the government and the people of New Zealand said, we want Auckland to be a dynamic, high-performing city with a strong economy. And on that basis, we need to have you stop disagreeing with each other and being divisive. We want you to unite. Uh, and so uh, in uh, 2006, the government of the day decided we'd have a royal commission to decide what was the best way to govern Auckland going forward. Uh, and the result of that was um, the government and parliament agreed we're going to reunite all of those councils into one council, the super city of Auckland. We will have one mayor. The mayor will provide the vision and the leadership and then Auckland will create one united plan uh, that would have within it primary focuses around transportation, environment, our communities, we're a highly multicultural community, uh, and that, that uh, then the United City would go out, build a great economy, and take Auckland and the country into the wider world. So in 2010, we had an election and I was elected the first super city mayor. And uh, it's, a, it's a real honor uh, to be in that position. Uh, and we have a council of 20 councillors, local boards, uh, and a corporate structure of seven companies within uh, the Auckland Council. One and a half million people with a budget of $3.5 billion New Zealand every year, which is about $4 billion, um, uh, rather $3 billion uh, Singapore. And uh, so from 2010 to now, our focuses have been around really strongly uh, delivering around the area of transportation transformation. So big changes around our transport. At last we've got electric trains, we're looking to build a metro system and we're starting that process right now. Uh, very high focus around the economy, uh, new work around our waterfront area, uh, very high focus on the CBD, encouraging overseas investors. A quarter, uh, the fourth highest investors in Auckland's economy 
other Singaporeans. Singapore loves Auckland. Auckland loves Singapore. So we uh, are basically, uh, as a united council, very focused on setting the right framework and platform for private sector investment uh, and for a very high sense of livability. So um, my vision for our city is to create the world's most livable city. And um, so we look to great cities like Singapore uh, as to how they've been able to achieve high population growth, high economic growth and development, have a very clear vision and a plan to back that vision and deliver out on that over years. And uh, we you know, acknowledge Singapore's great success in that space. And we're looking for the same type of success and delivery against a plan and a vision. And so um, the, the changes have been significant. The community, I think, are pleased with our progress thus far. They like the sense of momentum. Uh, and um, again, I think very similar to Singapore, Singaporeans have enjoyed the sense of success uh, leading to further success. And Aucklanders have that same sense of endeavour uh, and ambition at this time. So as a mayor of a, um, a city in transformation, and uh, with a requirement uh, and a passion for leadership and really being clear in your vision and conveying that to the community. Firstly, it's been great to be with mayors of the leaders of our greatest cities in the world uh, and to be with those who are working within uh, the, uh, the administration of those cities. Great ideas, new technologies, best practice uh, it's an opportunity for us to share our ideas and really look to gain inspiration from what's happening around the world in civic affairs. Cities lead the world in environment and management of water and key infrastructure in how we generate economic growth and development. And of course, increasingly, people are moving into cities. So generally, as a, as a civic leader of a developing city, it's been wonderful to receive the wisdom and share the ideas with my colleagues from around the globe. And then, um, importantly, we want to acknowledge the global leadership of Singapore. Uh, they have Lee Kuan Yew uh, as a great uh, leader of um, global politics. Uh, uh, his vision of bringing together um, the great leaders and cities of the world, um, trying to use this platform the World City Summit in Singapore uh, to tease out the very best of um, best management in building great, livable, sustainable cities. Uh, it's a tremendous initiative. Um, it brings the competitive best out in us all. It's one, we all want to be the greatest. We love our communities and our cities the most. Uh, but I want to acknowledge Singapore for their considerable leadership uh, in this space and uh, for us around the world, you provide a great platform for the debate in ideas and an opportunity to express our passion for the places in which we live.